So the most basic one um, that you will have, like if Mish stands up but leaves both feet available, like so. So if I can, if I've got access to both of his feet here, like this, um, I can try to sweep him backwards. This one's pretty simple. Um, probably the main thing, like don't try to sweep him back with your guard still closed for this. Um, when your guard's still closed, you don't get the same leverage as if you actually drop your hips through, like that. So I want to kind of like, if I can, drop my hips deeper um, past Misha's, so I'm kind of like behind his base, and then I can like push and lift my hips to knock him down, like that. Okay, but I don't want to end up in this, ideally I don't end up in this scramble here, because Misha's going to try and get up, and I'm going to try and get up, and one of us is going to win, okay? What I want to try to do as he's falling is catch on to um, his lapel. So, Mish is going to stand up like so. I'm going to grab onto his ankles, drop like my hips through, make sure my legs are pretty much straight. Um, actually, one other thing with this, it's not just pushing back like this. Sometimes, if Mish, if Mish has leant forward enough, I might not be able to get him just by pushing back. So, I actually want to like try to lift up a bit. If I can lift his feet off the, the ground, sometimes you can pull their feet out underneath him as well. So if he's forward enough that I can't push back, I'm aiming to sort of like lift up and pull his feet like that, yeah? Um, so maybe get the person on top to try to balance a little bit just to, to work through this. Okay, we'll go again. As soon as you feel like you've got him, so we go here and I've got him, I'm going to reach up, grab the collar, post on my hand, and I just want to scoot my hips past Mishes. So I'm going to bring my hips over like this. I'm going to come on top into mount. Again. Just going to stand up. Grab the ankles, drop my hips through. We're going to take him back, sit up, post on the mat. And then even if he does try to get up now, because I've followed him up, I'll be able to scoot over the top straight into mount. Alright, so we're going to warm up with that. Two minutes each. Three, two, one. So let's say, let's say either I knocked, Mish stood up, and I grabbed his legs, I knocked him back. Either I didn't get onto the collar in time, or maybe even I did, but he got up on his arm. Like that. Now, the first thing he wants to do is stop me getting on top, so they're usually going to start pushing away, so that's where we can attack the, the uh, arm bar from here. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same motion you get if you're going to mount. So, regardless, you should be setting this up. Like, we were holding the collar on. When we were just going to mount, like, I was posting, holding on, and I was, like, scooting my hips up and across. Yeah. Um, and you can see his arms in the way here like this. I can pretty much do the exact same thing. Now I can start to swing over the top of the head. Uh, and how you finish this arm bar, it can be over the top of the head or just with the shin. I don't really mind. Uh, as long as you keep them tight with your left leg curled, you should be able to finish the arm pretty quick. Um, just a note for the other person on top. So finish. We're going to deliberately do this wrong. Uh, but I want you to know to do this right when it happens. If Mish does get me over and I want to get back up, do not push on that chest. Okay, you will get up, but you leave yourself exposed to the arm bar. So if I push here and go to get up, yeah. you can attack the arm. Yeah? So I need to like try to stop him getting up by pushing like... I still want to like have some ability to stop him getting up, so I push... Like, it needs to be above the hip, but down here. And now if he tries to arm bar me, so it's very counterintuitive because like, he's going to be coming up, trying to get on top. If I go here, it's bad. Go left here. Go there and get up. Okay. But for the sake of the drill, let's grab a bit higher. So we'll work this, and then we're going to work on uh, if they uh, they stand in a staggered stance, so we can't be perfect. Again, I'm going to stand up. He grabs my legs. He pushes me back. I post on my hand. And I'm going to push on his chest and try and get back up. From here, he's going to swing his hips up and attack the arm. Let's go. Make sure you land your hips right behind their shoulder. Three, two, one. Um, this time, so this will be, I think this is more common, uh, what, what I'm going to show you now. Um, when someone knows what's going on, they tend to more do a staggered stance. So, if Mish stands up in my closed guard, and I'm wanting to play closed guard still, um, so, like, usually, He's not going to want to let me get two feet really well, so he'll stand one leg forward, one leg back. Um, so effectively, that sweep we just worked is going to be very difficult to do, unless I'm square to him. Even if I grab both legs, like my chances of actually like taking him back when I do this are pretty low. You can see the angle's really poor. Okay, so 
for this one, it is quite different. I think where people don't get it is they, they treat it the same as the other one. So they'll, they'll underhook one leg. And so I'm basically going to use, like, I'm going to underhook one leg. And I'm going to try and sweep him with this. But it's not the same. I'm now not trying to take him straight back. If I try and push straight back, I've got very poor leverage to push him this way. What I want to do is, I'll show, I usually will grab the sleeve as well, which I'll go in a sec. But instead, what I'm trying to do is angle my hips inside his knee. I want to block him from being out of step laterally. And I want to turn his knee out uh, to my left, like this. So I'm hooked nice and tight. You can use your, some people use their hand on the mat as well to help, like get pressure, that's up to you. Um, I will add more force, but if you don't feel comfortable like in that position, don't. Um, but we're gonna push here like this, drop your hips low, and then turn the knee out, like this, okay? You can see here though, Mish can potentially get up on his right hand, so when I go to get up, it's gonna be a fight. If I had that sleeve straight away, he's not gonna, not gonna do that. Okay, obviously I can't push off the ground, I've got the sleeve, so that's a slight different variation. Um, so if I can, and I can grab this sleeve, Underhook the leg, drop your hip in, and put it into that knee, okay? It's really important. Drop in, put your hip to the knee. You're bridging off your shoulders and you're pushing your hips purely laterally to try and turn his, his knee out. So we're gonna do the same thing now. He can't post, I keep pulling on this. I'm gonna roll all the way up to mount. Um, and we finish the sweep. So, Mish stands up. We get the cross sleeve, come underneath the leg, elbow deep, okay? Don't grab like this, you'll never do this sweep holding it like that. You've got to underhook and you've got to pull yourself like tight to it. I want to be close to that leg. We hold here, drop your hip inside the knee and then start to turn it out. So drop your hip in, rotate the knee out and kind of lift your hips. Take them over. You can keep hold, I would keep hold of this leg, I wouldn't let go. Do not let go of this leg to try and get up. Because I might go like this, and you can start getting up on that leg too, and potentially get up. So until I feel like I've pretty much got me out, I keep hold of this leg, try and get up. He can't, because it's stuck. Okay, until I'm like here. Okay, now I can let go and finish the sweep. Any questions? Let's have a go. Three, two, one. Okay. All right, one last note on this. So I saw a few people doing this, just try not to. Um, if Mish stands up, like, first of all, don't open your legs, because once I'm here, I get no power, like, pushing into his leg anymore, to the, to the sideways direction, okay? So I was talking about getting my hips into his knee, but that, I suppose that might not have been the correct thing to say. Like, you just want your hip to land on the, like the, on the inner part, whether it's the thigh or the knee, okay? So if Mish is really tall, like this, and I can't get my hip right on his knee, that's fine. I kind of like move my, I try and shift my butt a little deeper there and then turn it outwards like so. And this will start rotating his leg and get him over, okay? Um, first, and just one last note. So these are some, some strategies when, when someone stands to open your guard. If, if someone stands up and you try some of these and you feel like you're getting tired, I, I recommend opening your guard. Uh, if you do open your guard, it's almost never a good idea to just go like this, now he's going to attack my legs. So when you feel like you have to open your guard, make sure you get both of their sleeve grips. Like this. Okay, so we go again. Mish stands up. Like I'll pull myself up however I have to until I get both his sleeves. And don't just open here even. What I try to do, put my knees inside and flare out so my feet are on the hips. Now I've got control of these arms and I can control the distance whether he's close or far. Okay. Don't open the guard. Even just here, like now, Mish has much better ability to control my legs. So make sure your, your legs go inside. Okay. You can do a lot of different things, whether you want to go to Bella Hiva, X, or just play like an open or spider guard. It sets up all of that. Here, much harder. Okay.